Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joe from GadgetryTech.com and today we're going to review the Stell 600 Gen 2s for Xbox. This is the Xbox specific edition. So I may say some things that were similar to my PlayStation review for the Stell 600 Gen 2. If you want to learn more about this and you have a PlayStation headset or you want to learn more about the PlayStation headset, check the link in the description below because I'll provide that. With that being said, we're going to cover this thing top to bottom and answer some questions that have come up in other reviews. Um, which should help address any concerns with these. Uh, one question that came up, just so I don't forget, is can you charge this while you use it? And the answer is yes. So this is, uh, by the way, it's $99.95 for this. It comes at USB-C, the cable is short, so if you wanna charge while you use it, just plan on having a longer USB-C cable. But it is rated for 15 hour battery life, so you should get a couple nights of gaming solid without any problems whatsoever. I've, I've met and exceeded the 15 hours on both my PlayStation version and the Xbox version. Really just depends on how loud you listen to it and what kind of stuff you listen to. Naturally, high volume, something with a lot of bass is going to wear the battery out faster. So sound quality, this is, this is where the Stell 600s shine. If you're trying to get something that's competitive and great for gaming, the 600s are focused on that. These are not $100 headphones to try to get the best sound quality for music. There has to be trade-offs. So I think they sound great. They're not as bassy as the Rig uh, 800s from Plantronics, which are um, also the same price. However, the Rigs were a lot more buggy for me. They required an external transmitter, and they don't work right on PC. For some reason, those things distort a lot. So uh, $100, this is really the sweet spot, and we're going to explain a few reasons why. One, everything that the Stealth 600 Gen 1 was good at is here, but this is better. So you get better sound quality, that's thanks to in part to the improved driver uh, frequency response, the, the way they tuned it. I don't know if it's the same exact driver or if they just changed the EQ settings on it. They also improved the ear cup design. Ear cup design is, is way more critical than people think. It's not like you just put a really powerful driver in there and expect it to sound great. You have to have a great balance of breathability, comfort, and noise isolation. If you can isolate more sound on the outside, you're also doing a better job at keeping the sound inside that's coming out of the speaker, which gives you the better bass, the better sound stage. So the new ear design on the Stealth 600 Gen 2s gives you a better sound quality. At least it's noticeable over the Gen 1s. They're also extremely comfortable, and they have this thing called ProSpec, which basically allows you to wear glasses while gaming. So uh, some headsets aren't really designed for that. They either put too much clamp force down, or the ear cup is so stiff that you feel uh, pressure points or hot points on your head. Might be fine for a half hour gaming, but a four hour gaming session is a problem. So I wanna point that out because some people wear glasses and they wanna know. I don't wear glasses, but I do have Gunnars um, because I stare at a screen all day. These are the Amber Max, so they're really dark. Um, but they are the thickest frame I had. And as you saw, I was able to just slide them on. That's thanks to in part with this uh, ear pad technology that Turtle Beach has to be lighter on frame, but still give you a really good isolation. I can barely hear my surroundings right now. It does a great job of trapping it, yet it's meshed, so it breathes really, really well. So don't expect a hot ear after you know two hours of gaming. Um, so you can kind of see it, it accepts it really well on right where the frame kind of goes in over your ear, and I can pull these off. And the reason why I'm able to pull these on and off isn't just the ear cup. The clamp force is, is pretty decent on these. These are tighter than a lot of my other headphones. Like Astro has a, a weaker clamp force on several of their models. So this is definitely putting a little bit more pressure on your ear, but they're extremely light and the ear cup is soft enough where it's not like it hurts in any way. Uh, the nice thing about high clamp force with a light headset is you can move around and your headset's not gonna fall off your head. So I love that design. We are, gonna, we are gonna talk about microphone quality and there is mic monitoring on this. Side note, a lot of people don't know this on the Stell 600 Gen 2s for Xbox. If you connect it with the USB cable to your computer and launch the Turtle Beach app, which I'll provide a link uh, below to, because there's two different ones. It's not, it doesn't use the studio where you uh, customize the EQ. This is a fairly basic headset for hundred bucks. The EQ profiles are pre-designed. However, with the standard Turtle Beach app, you can set the microphone monitoring volume or side tone and the beeps that you hear when you change through EQ presets. So I love that you get that customization because a lot of headsets at $100 don't let you change the mic side tone. On um, PlayStation, the audio gains on the side of your headset, the dials are game volume and mic tone, uh, side tone or mic monitoring volume. It doesn't do the chat mix. The, play, the Xbox version has game volume and chat volume. They work independently of each other. The response time is instantaneous. So if you want to quickly turn up chat, there's no delay. Uh, the reason why I say that is 
for some reason the Lucid Sound headphones, there's a slight delay when you make audio changes to the volume, which ends up making it so you don't always dial it in perfect because you, you thought you had it, but it kept changing. Uh, this is instantaneous and you can completely mute game and hear just chat or vice versa or just dial in that perfect balance. So we're going to talk about microphone quality because everyone's asked about how good the mic is. So I'm going to start recording that right now. Now there's two different microphone settings. I can have the mic pivoted out or push it in if I want a little bit more sensitivity. You get a little bit better bass and dynamics on your voice when it's a little bit closer. It just picks up the, uh, the depth of your voice better. Um, when you do flip to mute, it's not all the way up to mute. Right here. And now I'm back on. So you hear an audible beep, um, basically like a, a toggle, like doot, doot, you know, that your mic is off so you know. Um, another cool thing is when you flip the mic all the way up, it fits into the ear cup. On the Gen 1s, the mic kind of stuck out. So for travel, um, it sticks out a little bit more. And if you're just using these as headphones and you don't care for the mic, it kind of blends into the ear cup. So I like that design too. Some other design enhancements that they have is this headband. It's a lot more robust than the Gen 1, so it's a lot stronger. Um, they have these really nice little notches. They're, one, the notches are very small. There's a lot of adjustment here. It's not like big clicks like some other headbands, and they're numbered with lines, so you can really dial in the perfect size headband. Now, one of the nice things about being bald, because let's face it, a little shiny up there, I can show you how much space is above my head, and uh, that is quite large. So um, hopefully you can see the gap here. You, if you have a larger head, this should still accommodate just fine. Even on the smaller setting, um, you should have enough clamp force where even kids can use this. I've let my son try this and use it a few times. He's, he's seven and it's held onto his head fine. So great for kids, even big heads. And this padding here, it's a PLU material, so it'll be pretty durable. Um, it's not fabric like over here, but that's not a problem. This is easy to clean. And the padding gets pretty far around. It's not like a cheap uh, strip in the middle. Um, the only other thing, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that stands out as a problem, and I, I really haven't had any. I guess if I had a nitpick, um, the USB-C cable that's included is a little short. I wish they gave you a longer cable so you could charge while you used it without having to provide your own cable. Uh, as far as audio performance goes, I mentioned before it's great for being competitive because the sound quality is phenomenal. There are four EQ presets. You can hit mode and you'll hear the beeps one, two, three, four beeps um, indicating which mode that you're on and then just it cycles back. Um, if you press and tap the power button once, you'll hear a one beep. That puts it in superhuman hearing mode, um, basically boosting footsteps and hearing loot crates really well and stuff like that, but at a great sacrifice of dynamics. So if you still wanna hear explosions and all the stuff that pulls you into the game, superhuman hearing really tones that part down so you can just hear the, the mid frequencies extremely sharply. Um, for some, it may not sound that great, so just, but you can turn it off, which is awesome. I found that the signature sound and the vocal boost are the best for gaming because you don't need a lot of bass. You want to be able to turn it up and not, you know, damage your eardrums. And I was able to hear everything. I've never really gamed on super hearing much because these are still better than most headphones I've covered for positional awareness. Um, speaking of awareness, it does support Windows Sonic. So if you enable that on Xbox or your computer, it will support that. That's more of a software driven thing, so it's not really like a hardware um, requirement, but it is officially supported. This is officially supported for Xbox Series X, Series S, Xbox One X, Xbox One S, etc. So whether you have the current or next gen Xbox, this will work just fine and it does directly pair, like I said, so there's no problems there. The only other thing to point out is if you, are, depending on when you're buying these, always check for firmware updates. That same program I was telling you guys about to change the settings for mic monitoring um, and the audible beep. So when you change presets, you can actually change the volume of how loud the preset switch is, uh, those, those noises when you mute, unmute, etc. cetera. Um, that program will also do firmware updates. So Turtle Beach will always look to improve their headphones, whether it be improving wireless stability, um, give you one extra setting adjustment or something like that. So keep an eye out and update if there is one available. It will always help. Um, I updated mine and they've been working just fine. Battery life has been as expected. Wireless transmission, I almost forgot. A lot of people ask how good wireless connectivity is on this. Um, the PlayStation version is a little bit better just because they give you the USB nano adapter, which is like freakishly good on wireless range. I can go through the other side of my house and it doesn't drop. This gets about the same performance as my other Xbox headsets that pair directly to Xbox. That's just because you're at the mercy of the transmitter built into the Xbox. 
So it does an adequate job for same room or two adjacent rooms over. I did not drop the audio signal. I've also never had audio cutouts either on party chat or games. So the connection is rock solid on this. I don't think anyone's gonna have a problem or complain. If you're having any kind of wireless dropouts, you may be in a congested area with an apartment, you know, lots of 2.4 gigahertz networks, etc. So maybe mess around with the uh, network settings, but this has been absolutely solid. Uh, never had a problem with this headphone. It's easily uh, um, one of the best, if not the best sub $150 headphones you can get for Xbox because it's comfortable, it sounds great, the mic is great, uh, wireless connectivity is, is stable, you get a really good um, mic design for the flip to mute. I like flip to mute over tap to mute. It's just, to me, it's quick, you know you're muted. You don't have to listen for beeps or check for a light, something like that. So, can't recommend it enough, guys. For $100, it is freaking amazing, and I think that it's gonna be the number one selling headset, again, because the old 600s was the best selling one for a prior generation. So um, I'll have a few links in the description below. I'm not a, a direct partner with Turtle Beach or anything like that. I cover a lot of headphones. However, I will have an affiliate link in the bottom for Amazon. So if you're looking to buy these on Amazon, doesn't cost you anything extra. It gives me a little credit and you know we're talking like fractions of a dollar, but it helps support the channel. So if you guys click that link, it will help me get other uh, great products to review and let you guys know about. Um, I pointed at this just now, so just bring it up. This does not come with a headphone stand, so if you're charging it or it's off, you do have to lay them flat. If you like the idea of a headstand, Turtle Beach makes the uh, HS2. This is $29.95, all metal construction. You have rubber feet, so it's very stable. Uh, and it's tall, too, so even if you don't get these, if you get the bigger Turtle Beach headphones or a different brand, a uh, little side note, those are tall enough to fit almost any headphone I've, I've owned on the market. So uh, actually, yeah, every headphone, even my hi fiman headphones fit on that. So. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I know I rambled a bit. There's a lot of cover, but I'm excited about these headphones because you get so much for a hundred bucks. They even have 50 millimeter drivers. So if you buy, you know, Astro A50s, those give you 40 millimeter drivers and they're 300 bucks. It's not just driver size. Obviously the quality of the, the speaker makes a difference. However, these things pound, they sound really good. They get very loud. I hope you found this helpful. If you have questions, let me know. Please don't forget to subscribe because we have lots of great content coming out. I've been really excited to share this stuff with you guys. The Stealth 700 Gen 2 review will go live on September 17th, so be sure to take, keep an eye out on that. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.